So what is first in intention is last in execution. And this is the paradox of holiness for each and every one of us. Because as you'll discover in the lives of the saints, there are all kinds of different personalities. The irascible Saint Jerome, who had a temper that puts mine to shame. And yet, it takes all kinds to make a heaven. And you'll also find other saints, too, with all kinds of temperaments and personalities. And yet, you're going to discover that God is calling us to bring ourselves with all of our weaknesses. And that this is going to be gradual. None of these saints were canonizable before the hour of their death. But the paradox of holiness is that those who have holiness are the ones who can't see it. Think of St. Francis of Assisi. He was the one who became more and more aware of his own weakness, his own waywardness, as he became holier, manifestly so, in front of his friars. It's also true for St. Paul. In his earliest epistles, he describes himself as the least of the apostles. In his final writings, he describes himself as the chief of sinners. Not that he was, but that he is. And so the paradox is that the more you have it, the less you see it or know it. And so if you see it and you think you know you're a saint, chances are you're not. But the fact is, nobody is until the hour of death. Did you ever wonder why Catholics have this morbid fascination with that moment in time? I can't tell you, but I suspect it's at least tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of times, I have spoken of the hour of our death. Amen. And why? Because that is the moment that matters more than all of the others, but it's also the moment that makes all of the other matters all of the other moments matter more than we can imagine. And so what is first in intention in God's heart is last in execution in our lives and in history. But it's a curious thing because what is first in importance is often the last thing that we discover. <laughs> 